Good morning, I'm Malia and welcome to my little video about how to wash your face properly. I've been a makeup artist and skincare specialist for whoa, two or three decades now and I really enjoy helping people look and feel their very best. So what I hear a lot is that women either don't wash their face or don't wash it properly. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to wash your face and I think it's going to help a lot in your daily routine. Keep in mind, the whole process should take less than five minutes. All right, it's a quick thing. Our first thing is to put on our gorgeous little cap. We love this. All right, so supplies that you will need. You will need your cleanser. All right, I use Basis and um, this is one of the best face washes I've ever seen. So. I just use this all the time. It works on every skin type. It doesn't dry your skin. It takes off eye makeup, including waterproof mascara. So it's a winner for me. And I'll put all the links below on the, what you're needing and how you can get them, but this is one thing that you need. The second thing is Witch Hazel. This is your toner. This one you can get at Target. It's not mine. It's, um, I think, $10.99. And you can get it at Thayer's.com or you can get it at Target. And the important thing is that you want Thayer's Witch Hazel, Rose Petal, and Aloe. They make several formulas and some are not that great and some are too harsh. So you want the Rose Petal, which calms redness, and you want the Aloe, which is also very soothing to your skin. This is also good for all skin types. Then you need some cotton rounds, right? You can just grab those. And also another product that I really like, this one is mine, Brightening Cleansing Water. And it's kind of, it's like a micellular water. It takes off the excess residue that the cleanser or the toner, you don't always catch 100%. So this, on those heavy makeup days and a little bit of mascara underneath, this will help take that off. So you don't need this every time, but I keep it handy. And then you may need a washcloth. Some people like the extra exfoliation, so um, you can apply your cleanser with the washcloth and you get a little extra exfoliation. I just use my hands. But if you're gonna use a washcloth, make sure that you keep track. So on one day you use one side, and on the other day you use the other side, then you wash it, all right? It needs to be super clean, especially if you have any breakouts, and you don't use it on your body. You have a face washcloth that is just for your face, and that's it, because clean, um, the cleanliness is really important to keep it bacteria-free. All right, so we have our lovely little cap on, and I'm going to moisten my skin. And then I'm going to take a tiny, and I mean tiny, little drop. You probably can't see it, but it's less than a pea. It's really little. Get a little foam going and start washing. So just circular motions, right? And if you have eye makeup, close your eyes, do the eyes. And then we're going to rinse. We're going to keep rinsing. And then we're going to pat it dry. So, what I see a lot is that people don't rinse enough. Even that wasn't enough. If you want to count and you'll see how long it really takes, um, or how many cycles, but about 20 handfuls of water to rinse properly, because there will be soap residue left behind otherwise, and you want as little of that as possible. If you're in the shower, you can just rinse until it feels squeaky clean. If you're washing in the evening and you have makeup on, you need to do this again. So wash once, rinse, wash twice. If you're in the morning, which I am now in the morning, you can just do it once because there's nothing on my face, 
all right? So next step is the toner, all right? The Thayer's Witch Hazel. We get a little cotton round, and you're going to put maybe six or seven little dots of water till you feel it moist, but not completely soaked. You don't want to waste it. And then you're going to rub this in a circular motion. Pay special attention to your oily areas. It's going to hold back the oil. Now toner, people always ask, do I really need a toner? Yes, you do, because it restores the pH to your skin, which is really important, so it doesn't get over cleansed or over dry. And it also kind of tones in your pores, closes them a little bit, so that your skin is ready to accept the next step, which is moisturizer, all right? So when you use your cotton thing, look at it and make sure that it's still white, right? It needs to be white. If there's some color on it, like right here, probably, yep, <laughs> there's a little bit of mascara left over, all right? So then I go grab the brightening cleansing water and we put a little, maybe just two drops of that and rub over and under the eye. Hey, there it is. We got the rest of the mascara off, okay? And then typically I just rinse a little water. You don't want to leave the micellular on your skin, rinse that off, but the toner you do leave on, all right? So the toner goes on and you just leave it, okay? The next step is your moisturizer, and I'm gonna do a whole other video about that, but the main thing 24 seven is eye cream. I'm using the Enzyme Eye Cream, which does a mild exfoliation with papaya, and it keeps the fine lines and wrinkles at bay. If you have puffiness or you know whatever issues you have, you wanna get an eye cream to match and correct your issues. But like I said, that's another story. So under the eye, over the eye, around we go, right? The whole eye socket. And then you will apply moisturizer. If it's in the evening, you're gonna apply your treatment moisturizer, whatever that might be for whatever issues you have. If it's in the daytime, you're going to use your sunscreen, and depending on your activity, it's gonna be a 30 or a 50, depending if you're gonna be inside, outside, whatever you're gonna do. So the three steps, cleanse, tone, moisturize. You do it one time in the morning for the cleansing, and then tone and moisture, and sunscreen. You do it two times cleansing in the evening, then tone, then moisture, treatment, because you don't need to wear sunscreen to bed, right? And you need to wash twice so that you make sure you get all your makeup off. Now, a couple little points to end on. Make sure that you keep everything super clean. If it's gonna be hands, washcloth, make everything super clean. Don't use hot water. The hot water can be on the body. I know a lovely hot shower feels great, but on the body, it's all right. On your face, it's not all right. It can pop those blood vessels and leave you very red and you'll get those little veins sometimes, so it's not worth the risk. So take your shower, but turn the water down when it comes time to rinse your face. And if you're using a sink, use what we call tepid water, which is kind of half warm, half cool, just tepid. You don't want it super hot and you don't want it super cold. Somewhere in the middle. The next important tip is use a proper cleanser like I showed you, a basis cleanser for your face. Do not use the soap that you use on your body. A lot of women say, oh, I just use whatever's in the shower, right? And I wonder why my skin is so dry, hmm. So no body soap on the face. You need a special cleanser for the face. All right, so there you have it in a nutshell. The whole process, like I said, less than five minutes. It's super, super fast, so any questions, put them below or you can email or message me. If you want some personal attention, I love that. Uh, we can Skype, we can Google Hangout, we can Zoom, all kinds of options. So just let me know and I'm here for whatever you need. Thanks for watching.